Hello, I'm the Reverend Adam Reed, the Vicar of Emmanuel Church in Saltburn and St Thomas's Church in New Mask. Uh, it's Saturday the 21st of March and it's the end of a quite extraordinary week in the life of our nation as we come to terms with the effects of the coronavirus. I just want to share with you uh, a message from uh, Emmanuel and from St Thomas's churches um, with what we've been doing um, to help prepare uh, our parishioners and our church members. Tomorrow is Sunday, but we can't meet for worship here, uh, both across the country, uh, the Church of England and many other denominations have suspended public worship. But what we are going to do, we're going to open this church and St Thomas's Church for an hour on a Sunday morning, from 10 in the morning till 11 in the morning. And also at St Thomas's on Tuesday and Thursdays, again for one hour from 10 till 11, and at Emmanuel Church on Wednesdays and Fridays from 10 till 11. If you want to come in to either of these churches to sit quietly, to offer some prayer, to reflect, uh, then you're most welcome to, but please do follow good guidance and good practice on social distancing. And please do respect others who may be in each of those church buildings. There are a number of resources that we're developing uh, online. Uh, both church websites over the coming days will have updates with regards to prayers and resources that you can go to. There'll be links to the National Church website uh, where there are prayers and resources for adults and for children. We're going to start a short talk series on the theme of meditating on God's promises at difficult and challenging times, so please do look out for those in the coming weeks. Obviously Easter is approaching, so there will be some special talks around the theme of Holy Week and Easter. I sent a letter out to church members in Emmanuel and St Thomas's, um, particularly to those who were more vulnerable. And in that letter we asked them if they needed any help and that we would uh, arrange for someone to be a key contact for them, um, to give them a call, uh, to see if there's anything that they needed support with. It may be that there are others in our communities that still need some kind of support. Um, the church, I pray, would be able to help, um, but also I don't want to duplicate the good work that is taking place in both Newmask and Saltburn. So there, there are good groups, uh, many of them are on Facebook. Um, you may have had a leaflet through your door. Um, if you believe those people to be trustworthy and responsible, um, then by all means do use them and do contact them. I, like many others, have seen how the shelves in our supermarkets are depleting rapidly. And I was reminded uh, earlier this week uh, about an expression, um, which I think is something that we might find helpful and useful to apply to our lives. Live simply, that others may simply live. Or perhaps I could change that to shop simply, that others may simply shop. Um, I have been assured, as with many others, that there is enough to go round if we are willing uh, to share, if we're willing not to panic buy and hoard. Now on the letter that I sent out to the church members, I put a quote in there from St Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, and it's these words. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong and do everything in love. At this time, I may encourage you to be courageous and to be strong. It is a time when we can indeed be afraid and we can acknowledge that we are afraid. But do not let the fear overcome you. Do not uh, fixate on that fear. Um, I'm someone of faith and I trust in my Lord that he will help us. Do everything in love, St Paul writes. Let's look out for each other as best we're able to, whilst also maintaining good practice of social distancing. Maybe that we can help connect with people on the phone and online. Let's do all that we can to support our communities and particularly to support the most vulnerable. So may God be with you 
And may Jesus bless you today and may he protect you and keep you safe.